Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of Science Stream. Thank you for joining us live on Facebook. We hope you continue to stay safe and healthy during this pandemic. We'll be starting our broadcast shortly, so make yourself comfortable and remember to leave your questions in the comment section for our guests to answer. See you in a bit. Hello once again, especially to those who have just joined us. I'm Sean from Techno Penang, Penang's very own Science Discovery Center. Through our collaboration with China Science and Technology Museum, Beijing, we are proud to bring you another medical doctor all the way from Beijing, China, Dr. Gu Li. She's the director at the Department of Infectious Diseases and Clinical Microbiology, Beijing Chaoyang Hospital. Dr. Gu is actively engaged in respiratory tract infectious diseases caused by various infectious agents, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Tonight, she will share with us China's experience with, with regards to COVID-19 and what we can learn from their experience. Please join me to welcome Dr. Gu to the show, all the way from Beijing, China. Welcome to Sanction, Dr. Gu. Thank you for being with us tonight. Hello, everyone. Good night. It's my great hi. pleasure. Hi, hi. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Gu, tell us more about your department in Beijing Chaoyang Hospital. Uh, my department is special to diagnose and the treatment of disease, uh, infectious disease caused by uh, any kinds of pathogen like virus, fungal, bacteria, and the parasites. So in pandemic, my department is focused on the novel coronavirus to prevent and control uh, with the Wuhan hospital. Um, so a different uh, period, uh, our department uh, play different role. And without p pandemic, we treat regular infection diseases like pneumonia, like uh, um, uh, 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 urinary tract uh, infection disease. Uh, I believe you have prepared a presentation slide for us, so maybe you want to run through uh, the list of topics to be covering. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, today we will talk uh, about COVID-19, and this slide is a show us co show us today contest. What's the COVID-19 and how to spread, how to prevent, and when you get sick, what to do, and. Uh, we will talk about a little, a little about diagnosis and the treatment. Uh, um, by now, the pandemic have uh, keeping have kept uh, for five months until now. So maybe you have already know more. So now at the beginning. It is a confused. So, uh, it because it is a new disease, this caused by uh, caused a new coronavirus, which has not been found uh, previously. So, um, I will briefly talk about the the discovery and the coronavirus. We know this is a term from his. Uh, uh, the virus surface because there is a lot of spikes uh, around the surface of the virus from the electric microscopy. So scientists named those, this kind of virus is coronavirus. It's, uh, coronavirus is very common. It's used to uh, cause the uh, human beings uh, common cold uh, each year we have got several things caused by coronavirus. And then in last year, the end of the last year, Chinese doctors um, found uh, some pneumonia. The, the doctors didn't know the, the source, what's the kind of the etiology uh, of the pneumonia, uh, because this is come uh, several, several uh, cluster. 
have the same similar characters. So they not China notified the WHO this uh, information, and, uh, and quickly scientists uh, isolate and released this uh, new viral home sequence and the published gene bag to share around the world. And the February 11th, WHO officially named this new viral as uh, sars cov viral 2 because 2002, uh, 2002 uh, you know, the you know, whole uh, SARS pandemic around the world. So this is the second, this is two because they have uh, some similarity. And the March 11, because this is the uh, uh, the spread around the world, the WHO declared this uh, pandemic. So at the beginning, Chinese uh, scientists, doctor, what the Chinese doctor scientists do is to share the information uh, to alert the whole world and help spread as soon as possible. So what's the source SARS-CoV-2? I had mentioned uh, uh, last slide, uh, coronavirus is very common, very, very common. Uh, it uh, can cause the people and many different species animals like bats, cats, uh, disease, or just carry the, without the, any symptoms. Um, but actually animal uh, coronavirus cannot affect people directly, which means they need intermediate host to transmit from the bat to human beings. And for this uh, pandemic, recent research uh, work uh, suggests the orange is most likely from bats because uh, the bats, uh, the virus from the bat, isolated from bats is a high similarity from this new, narrow, new coronavirus. And uh, what's the intermediate host? Now some scientists uh, uh, give us evidence uh, like the, uh, the mink or like the merging pangolins uh, might be the most likely the intermediate. The bats spread the, the virus to this intermediate. Then um, the viral leo on the human beings, then spread from the person to person. So does this mean we should not be afraid of bats as it requires another animal to hop on to humans? Uh, actually, the bat is a very special animal. Uh, he, this animal can um, carry a lot of uh, different virus and um, mm, 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 maybe one third is the coronavirus. It's common in bats. Uh, also, uh, the coronavirus cannot cause the bats disease. He just carry the, the virus. Uh, how the, uh, the virus from spread from the bat to, uh, in, to human beings, I, I have said it need uh, intermediate co-host. Uh, um, in some virus, you he can direct from the bats to homing bees. Just that you you irritate the bats. You know, you irritate the bats. The bats the bite you, bite you. Maybe trans some kind of virus. But to for the respiratory tract virus, this uh, transmission route cannot work. It's uh, it's uh, no evidence. So. Um, and um, I, I want to say uh, we need, uh, act, first we need to protect wild, wild animal and because the, we don't afraid bats. We, if we irritate bat, we, we keep the, our ecologically uh, balanced and uh, keep, uh, protect our wild animal. So the bats just uh, carry the virus. They don't uh, um, fight. <laughs> attacked human beings directly. This is I want to, I said. So there are claims that this virus was engineered inside a lab. Is this true? How can we conclusively say that it is or it isn't? Uh, this is, 
uh, is uh, <laughs> not true. It's false. More recently, a lot of uh, research work have done. Uh, they use the uh, genetic uh, genetic uh, gene gene uh, uh, evolution uh, method to to tell people the the viral how to the viral evolution. So use the scientific scientific uh, the the tech technician tell me this viral. Uh, is nature evolution, not the human beings or not the, the lab made. There is no symptoms. Also, uh, and the lab is, um, uh, they have the strict standard at level five, level two, level four, for this, this, those kind of virus, maybe it is uh, um, life, uh, the biological uh, safety, security should be level four. So I, I believe scientists, uh, they need to know this is a strict standard. Uh, and also there are a lot of evidence, no evidence uh, prove this is a, a lab made. <laughs> so it is also nature evolution, how the evolution and uh, evidence So um, how to prevent and control the, the COVID-19? Actually, I will tell some epidemiology characters, which include three kinds of uh, uh, fact. A source, we, know, we need to know what's the source of infection, how transmission, the who is susceptible uh, uh, get sick. So, uh, for the COVID-19, the source of infection is uh, uh, human beings. What kind of human beings is confirmed case or suspected case, even no symptom case. So how to control? We need to control, prevent. Firstly, we need uh, who is the source. We may need early diagnose and report the CDC and the treatment the human being uh, the patient and isolation is uh, uh, this infection uh, infections patient and then, then we need to know the transmission route uh, two two transmission way mainly by respiratory droplet it can when you cough in the droplet uh, to transplant other and closely close a uh, person and uh, another way is touching countermitted surface of objects, but it's not the main way. And for the new disease, most new disease, all the patients are susceptible, like the new flu. If the flu uh, have a genetic change, and maybe uh, like the two, do you, everyone maybe remember 2009 pandemic, H1N1, same, because it's a new uh, genomic combination. So a lot, um, all the people without antibody to, to prevent, so all the people are susceptible. So this is the cause of the, uh, the whole world pandemic. But um, for the COVID-19, uh, most, most people are just mild symptoms, just only a small people uh, should, would, would be um, became become um, severe. So uh, the high risk for developing severe uh, condition is the uh, older patient or uh, they live in the nurse room or long-term facility, care facility, or those people who have underlying medical condition like chronic heart disease, chronic lung disease, chronic liver function, or um, uh, um, controlled well diabetes. Um, so, uh, our CEO, Dr. Kong, has a question. Uh, the symptoms uh, are the same. It's like a common flu. So, before the gene sequence was actually done, uh, how did we actually know that this is a new disease? Uh, good question. 
And we know the pneumonia is a very common disease in clinical practice, but the the passenger caused pneumonia is very com complicated. Virus, bacterial function, a lot of pathogens can cause pneumonia. And then in, in this disease, begin, at the beginning of the uh, pneumonia, uh, there, there are a lot of the uh, same pneumonia, have the same uh, symptoms, have the same the CD scan. When you see this scan photo, the same, have the same clinical character. But uh, uh, the, the doctors scan all the pathogens they have done. There's no orange, no passenger found. And because it's cluster, so it's remind doctor maybe this is a new passenger. But they don't know what that. Then uh, they uh, go and later, later uh, isolation, the viral the, uh, and the sequence, the whole genome. You know, and then it is a, a new, it's a coronavirus, but it's a new coronavirus. It's different from the uh, coronavirus human base. Uh, infection so this is uh, this is uh, this is a doctor's uh, noti noticed uh, because of the, the similar character but without the pathogen so you mentioned just now diabetes heart or lung disease are there other underlying medical conditions uh, which will make them more susceptible uh, how about hypertension hepatitis cancer and so far? Oh, yes. And um, now, um, hypertension in some research uh, also uh, suggest this is also a high risk of the, the severe conditions. Uh, hypertension uh, uh, is, is also, I mean, a lot of uh, uh, chronic can be underlying conditions like you said cancer I mean it is uh, if you uh, immuno immuno ability is done is you are uh, easy to uh, you cannot prevent the the, the, the the new viral infection so you the disease you mentioned maybe all of them you mentioned should be noticed by um, people. So, um, you mentioned just now uh, two main routes uh, mm. of transmission. Uh, mm. The main one, the, the main route will be uh, respiratory droplets, and secondary is actually uh, touching contaminated mm. surfaces, objects. So, that, that's the reason why uh, when we wear masks, it's actually very helpful because we are helping to solve the first. Uh, the main route of transmission, which is through the droplets. So we are slowing down the spread of the virus. And by washing our hands and disinfecting surfaces, we're actually uh, reducing the second very route of transmission. Yes, the, this prevention method totally depends on transmission route. It's a dependent on transmission. The, for the respiratory tract uh, spread infection disease, Wear mask is a key, uh, key point to to play uh, to prevent and play very important uh, role. Mm -hmm. Now, why we I also mentioned uh, uh, con contaminated surface or object you need to wash hand because the the droplet when you sneeze very sneeze a cough the droplet will out. Spread, spread out, and they may be download land on the surface close close around your your body. So contaminated the the, the environmental. So uh, now several scientists also found the viral can live not longer. Different surface, they different different liver, uh, different time liver liver. So. Uh, this is uh, not the liver longer and longer. So, so just uh, you, uh, the, the, the environment just uh, be contaminated as soon as possible. You clean, clean it. For a long time, the virus cannot live longer. It's died. <laughs> it's dead. Bye. So, um, I mentioned is um, find the. Uh, 
uh, source is very important and how to how to find the the the, the source of infection and they need screening or contact training so uh, screening is uh, is uh, uh, not just uh, uh, patient in, in during pandemic screening uh, almost <laughs> almost every 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 person so uh, uh, another screening another is uh, uh, contact tracing uh, because contact with you might be the potential patient potential source of you of the of the disease so um, for the contact you may you may be stay home 14 this is uh, uh, this quarantine quarantine and then of course due to the quarantine time you you maybe some medical doctors or or you are sure you monitor your house uh, uh, this is a screening and also there's a different screening and the contact tracing uh, strategy in different country it's depend on the government uh, uh, policy or depend on the the how severe the epidemic in your country uh, I, I uh, uh, talk uh, my country uh, I for example my my uh, my con uh, communicate community uh, in in China, there is different uh, response level. And the beginning, we uh, my government uh, is uh, first level one response, which means uh, have a very strict, <laughs> very strict. So uh, residential district in Beijing uh, are were implemented semi-closed management. What means uh, you, when you enter in and out your uh, district, you which each person need issued epidemic prevention tips and the self and show the self uh, so the, the access card with photo. And uh, when you're going out, you should uh, take you should take temperature and epidemiology investigation and the survivor whether you from outside Beijing and uh, when you outside Beijing then you came come came from outside Beijing you need to quarantine and the survivor will 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 survive if whether you are uh, be quarantined at home and also when you're going out, they will survive whether you are uh, you you are you very wear mask or not. This is the first level, and the show this photo is my 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 card access with my photo, and this is my community that other uh, take each uh, go each uh, residence even whether they are walking or uh, driving in. in the. Uh, level uh, peer level response uh, uh, two res uh, response level level two now is the strategy is just uh, focus on the the people from high risk uh, uh, the people came from high risk area uh, have the, you need to do the same same steps to enter your community I mean uh, the the community in China totally practice um, participant this pandemic this is in Beijing so how suspect uh, the case what's the suspect case and confirmed case yes the symptoms uh, start like many other uh, respiratory tract uh, infection disease uh, so fever sore throat cough muscle ache diabetes diabetes is uh, um more more um, um, diabetes is more um, more um, be uh, mortality uh, mobility is a high other 
uh, virus for this COVID-19. And for severe case, patient would have short of breath. This, sub, this kind, this, those symptoms start about one day after exposure, but can be as long as 14 days. It's because of the, this, uh, this evidence so we usually quarantine or isolation patients 40 days. Is it depend on this, this uh, evidence? And some people have no symptoms and most have mild. Only small case, uh, cases are fat or severe. So uh, now in Malaysia, uh, we are following WHO's recent recommendation which is to release patients after 14 days of hospitalization. You know, even if the patient's test results come back positive, is China also practicing this? Uh, why? why? Uh, yes, uh, 40 days uh, is uh, um, for the uh, for two, two, two criteria for those, those people uh, discharge or discontinuation quarantine. And one is depend on symptoms. Like you said, if your symptoms reduce or relief, you can go home or you can discontinue quarantine. Another criteria is uh, uh, standard evidence. It means you viral RNA is turned to negative. So, uh, lab evidence is more strict. It's more maybe more safety, more safe because yeah. it can confirm that the RA that the virus is gone. You are not the source infection, and uh, but the the symptoms uh, is relieved. Maybe the virus you cannot be clean, clean totally. So you may be a potential infection source. So in China. We use the second criteria. Still now, we, we, we still use the second criteria. Okay. Um, we have a, a relevant question regarding symptoms and also effects. Mm. Uh, recent discovery of COVID-19 causes thickening of blood. What causes this and how will this affect the patients? Are blood from all patients taken or only some patients will suffer this? Yes, uh, yes this, uh, this can cause sinking of the blood. And my, my hospital group, uh, those doctors uh, participant in Wuhan prevention, they go to the the severe, severe area in China, there are a lot of patients. Actually, in Beijing, we just have a, a cave con 500 confirmed case. So, and this group also found the sinking, uh, the blood. So, this, but it's just in the, um, in the uh, severe case, not the mild patient. It's because the virus can infect in, in the blood uh, cell. Uh, ep, epicel, uh, the, the inner cell, the, the blood vessel, how the inner cells, the virus may be attacked to it, or maybe uh, 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 through the other inflammation inflammation uh, road to uh, to uh, attack the, the blood vessel cell and the, and the platelet or and the, the platelet maybe other the uh, thrombo uh, it's uh, uh, caused the sink blood. So uh, we in severe case uh, uh, the doctors uh, use the uh, anti thrombo uh, anti uh, medicine to control the sinking of the blood. Uh, if you get sink, what to do? So uh, it's very important to don't travel, don't go to work, and uh, when you cough and sneeze, use a muscle, a tissue or mask, 
and wash your hands uh, with soap and water. Or water, and uh, uh, you need to stay home or you go to hospital. Also, in uh, in different situation, uh, if you are just mild mild symptoms, stay home is okay. Um, but for um, for 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 in my country. Uh, uh, we be at at the beginning, even the mild uh, mild uh, symptoms, uh, we also let them go to hospital uh, to isolation because you know China uh, population high population, and the, the 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 house is also crowded. The quarantine or isolation at home is not. Um, it's not uh, effective, so uh, government uh, suggests uh, even mild go to hospital, and the, the government set up a lot of isolation site for you. So, uh, if you stay home, you need uh, uh, you need to know uh, how what time when you seek medical doctor. So I uh, I I. I mentioned it here. I didn't mention the uh, last slide. Maybe tell you how to remind you go to hospital. And now this is uh, I re re again re re again uh, tell those patients go need to go to hospital that you need uh, um, uh, develop severe case older patient with uh, uh, chronic. Uh, underlying condition, you need to go to hospital. Whether you are mild or severe, you you need to go to see doctor. So uh, next slide. How I will introduce uh, my hospital some 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 strategy. There are two clinical. Uh, in my hospital, one of them, one, one is a general clinic, there be very big hall, and in the pandemic, the hall, uh, they, they set up a new hall, the patient uh, go into, and, and, and a lot of teams are along the, along the, the, the hall, and we set up the uh, social distance fate and the social, social distance chair um, to remind people have a social distance and also uh, have a two dimension you know, travel code you can scan and, and uh, tell told the, uh, the, the, the nurse uh, what your travel history. So this is a general clinic. Um, another clinic Look like not good. So, <laughs> like uh, this is a fever clinic. Uh, fever clinic uh, in this uh, also have a lot of uh, popular popular scientist knowledge about COVID nineteen, and uh, uh, say uh, fever clinic is uh, uh, is uh, uh, um, this is distributed a lot of. Uh, uh, hospital ar around the Beijing, um, and usually a fever clinic is a season, season, seasonal and epidemic infection disease like uh, flu surveillance. This is the uh, the site that CDC take sample from clinical fever clinical, and uh, also the. They also have the bacterial resistant surveillance and are no pathogen dissection. This is uh, its function. Its function. Next, and then in the during this pandemic, uh, my hospital set up red zoom, which uh, this uh, isolate isolated uh, suspect patient. So include uh, it include the fever clinic. Uh, and isolation ward, and the PCR lab, and the uh, the the CT scan, CT room, all uh, uh, serve uh, serve a suspect patient. This is uh, uh, separated from um, my whole the 
main building from is separate from my hospital, the main building. So uh, due to the symptoms of COVID-19 being very similar with many other diseases, with subjecting everyone to go to the same fever clinic or isolation zone actually increase the risk of contracting COVID-19 even if in actual fact they do not have COVID-19 but uh, they have some other disease instead? Yeah, so this is a good question. You, you, it's a, if you, uh, it's potential cross-infection of COVID, viral, uh, and we have a tri tri triage before the patient go into the clinic room, the nurse will ask for some, some trust and travel history. Especially in Beijing, the epidemiology history is very important. At the beginning, they will uh, focus on patient from Wuhan, from Hubei, because there's outbreak. And uh, now gradually we move, move to the, uh, the a foreign came from America, from Europe. Is uh, the history very important when you uh, entry this patient? Then, uh, if you have fever, uh, respiratory tract symptoms, and also have epidemiology history, the nurse will guide you to the uh, the single room, one person, one single room. And this is uh, um, make sure the patient is safe. And um, actually, uh, my, uh, our government also noticed this situation. You know, you can see the photon fever clinics. This condition is good. Look like not my new building, very beautiful light. So it's good. A good news is my fever clinic will, will break down a new building will be set up the government financial support to to move to prove my to sorry to high to a new renew building for fever clinic or for infection disease ward and that and also government require the new building will start the end of 2020. So this is good news for, for me, for, for patients. So for, for potential infection, infected people, uh, and this is, we know also uh, is a source of the uh, trans 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 transmission, trans spread the disease. Um, uh, uh, for the potential, uh, potentially infected patient, uh, uh, even they, they, they are no symptoms, inf no symptoms, uh, counting 14 days is required. It depends on the, 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 the viral uh, epidemiology characters. And uh, who is potential uh, infected people? First, it's back from the high risk area. And this is a WHO, um, w, no, not, uh, this is a hospital, American Hospital University, they uh, updated the, the, the information. The, the red room is a high risk uh, area. For China, we also have our, our government uh, Name the high risk area. So you, the back from high risk, you are potential in fact people. Uh, second is close contacts. Uh, you are also the potential in fact people. The, you need to start to work with uh, the confirmed case. And the medical staff, you fail to take effective protection when you diagonal treatment or nurse or visit the cases and uh, all the 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 patients or care care givers in the same ward the same ward a uh, confirmed patient to leave, leave the same ward so in my hospital isolation ward is a single room 
one patient just uh, live in a single room to prevent cross infection. And, uh, and you take the same vehicle, uh, on all uh, epidemiologists, uh, on-site investigator, uh, you are contactor. So I remember uh, my hospital confirmed the first case. We don't know how did the patient get sick, what's the load he gets sick, but uh, the epidemiologist uh, ask for a lot, a lot of questions and know how how he gets the sink. So then the epidemiologist think you are the uh, the, the 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 clear. So you need a, um, named close contact. So, uh, if you have cl uh, close contacts with confirmed person, what to do? Uh, yes, same. Stay home and or uh, some specific spaces. In my country, uh, this is specific space. So this is, uh, space is, uh, is uh, um, depend on the government uh, required. How is like hotel, in pandemic hotel is uh, used by government. And um, you need to monitor your house. Uh, stay home means quarantine until 14 days after your last exposure. And you need to check temperature ties and watch your symptoms of the uh, of the disease. Precaution. I, I I just focus on the precaution. You if you have fever, cough, or other symptoms, when you when you quarantine time, you are a close contactor. You there you have a fever, cough, other symptoms. You might you might COVID nineteen. Because you use you are you are close to contact. Um, of course, most people are mild illness may be able to recover. Just stay here or go to hospital. Depend on country health systems. Um, yes, uh, I have uh, um, some patients. Uh, uh, some some people. They ask me a lot of questions where, where they quarantine. They're very, very anxious. They, they repeat, take temperature, no need. They uh, ask after you uh, eat hot food, after take exercise, and maybe your temperature is a, a little higher. So because patients are very conscious, uh, anxious, they, they repeat. Uh, take the uh, take temperature a little higher and they very scary <laughs> so this is i want to say of course um seek medical doctors i mean you you must go to see doctor in in in, in these situations you have trouble breath shuttle breath persistent pain or pressure in the chest or confusion inability to wake or stay awake cannot sleep or you have the uh, blue tips at the face and mostly most likely the reminder you go to hospital is a uh, uh, shot of brace this is a uh, 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 this is a remind you to 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 see doctor So we have this question, uh, actually this is related to the previous slide. Um, is it normal for healthy people to show no systems? Yes, it's normal. It's very normal. Um, actually, a lot of viral um, infections cannot cause patient symptoms. And not just uh, this new uh, coronavirus like flu, like uh, uh, adenoviral, uh, rhinoviral, even HIV, you know, and some patients uh, no symptoms. It's, it's very common, it's very common. 
So um, this no symptoms just is uh, very difficult for control the, uh, the pandemic because people who are no symptoms, but they can spread the virus. So this is very difficult. So actually, we have talk about the uh, spread, the transmission road. Yes, uh, this is two two road. Yes, uh, it's uh, because of those those spread road. We 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 know how to do for for uh, how to do. Yes, first avoid exposure for the health people is is king. It's very king. Uh, yes, is avoid close contact. How to avoid contact? This is a social distance because a droplet can uh, land on the ground or, or the surface around the uh, around the person. Um, it's uh, about one to two meters. For about one two meters, of the droplet. It cannot go there, go far away, go far away. So the social distance depend on the droplet, uh, the the spread how far, how far. So so this and uh, yes, you need a while. You need to go together the groups or crowded place. Yes, same because those those situations social distance cannot make sure the social distance. So exposure is. Uh, is um, is uh, uh, So this is a uh, uh, um, protect your, uh, your 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 body because the droplet enter our body from the respiratory tract. So you need a uh, touch your don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. If you you your hands contaminated by the virus, you, when you touch the virus, can enter our body from this this part. So uh, I here I uh, share some Chinese uh, strategy, strategy this time this pandemic. Uh, our government don't share food, drink, and the personal items because uh, actually the virus cannot uh, spread from by uh, di direct tract. This is not the um, from this road, but. Uh, in China, traditional uh, food uh, food culture, we use the same uh, plate, and you you the the which and the, the put food take food from the same plate. So uh, it's uh, maybe complement the food and the uh, complement the surface of the table. And then you take food, and maybe you will come close contact the person around you. So this is a suggestion in the in this pandemic during this pandemic. But actually, uh, the virus cannot spread from the uh, direct tract. Di direct. Uh, sorry, um, from the uh, from the, the uh, stomach. Uh, to the spread virus, there's no evidence. Just to do the, your share food, the young wild mantle or some food may be con 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 contaminated because uh, you use the food, you, 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 the food should enter your mouth, enter your mouth, so, so it's a potential, uh, potential con contaminate. So when we are wearing masks, uh, uh, every day we go. Then we will have time to have your meals, maybe lunch, dinner, breakfast. So for those wearing this reusable cloth mask, how best should we remove our mask? Uh, 
when we are having our meals. Yes, when you take food, you need to take off well, take off um, mask, and then uh, I suggest if if you have food, um, you need uh, prepare another new new mask with you. I suggest uh, if you wear mask the whole morning from eight to twelve, it's maybe four hours. You can. No, you can can you can uh, <laughs> dispose this mask and uh, change a new. Yeah, how about the cloth mask that you know we, we use? So not the surgical disposable one, but uh, the cloth mask that we will use again and oh, again. And again. Uh, uh. Yes, you, you then this this you can reuse. You can create a tissue or clothes tissue or a, a, a paper tissue. It's okay. If the clothes tissue where you cover your mouth and then you sneeze or cough, you can clean it as soon as possible. And then you can dry, after dry, you can use again. It's no problem. So when we are eating, we just put on the table or on a tissue. Uh, we put a tissue on the table, then we put a mask, then after that we just cover over. Then when we're we have finished eating, then we just wear back the mask. Is that uh, safe? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we have a if we, question. Okay, go oh, ahead. Right. It, it's not about mask, but it's about gloves. So uh, what is your advice on some people wearing gloves as they are too scared to touch any potential virus on any surfaces? So we on leaves and uh, escalator. Mm -hmm. What would your advice be? Yeah, so this is not um, um, almost the time to do like this. Just in some very special situation, in pandemic, when you uh, need to take public elevator, you need to press button. This is public, or you need to uh, go to very crowded, crowded uh, room, and maybe. You don't know who is a suspect patient, a suspect source. So you wear the gloves, it's okay. But you don't do, do a whole day, it's not necessary. And we you know during the pandemic, I also saw some people uh, wear the body like the doctor. You know, to see the confirmed case, <laughs> it's not it's not it's necessary. Scary. Just a scary. Yes. So uh, I I introduced some masks. Um, yes. Now um, most people use medical mask. One is surgical medical mask. Another is medical protective mask. But the medical protect mask is just uh, be rec recommended for medical workers, not for our uh, people. We just use surgical medical uh, mask is okay enough because the medical doctor, medical doctor just uh, um, focus on the doctors who serve the confirmed case, not all the medical doctor. If you are a heart disease doctor, you don't need just a respiratory tract doctor. Like for my clinical, favorite clinical doctor, they need to put on wear the medical product because it has more uh, protective. It can block 95 of the virus because the doctor, he cannot uh, keep social distance from the patient, when they the check the patient's body or the take the swab, it's very close or some uh, procedure is it's, it's very dangerous. So this medicine, uh, mask for them, just for them. So when you um, bear the mask, you need to check if they are tall or wet or they have toasted. I have mentioned, I have for the reminder uh, people don't use the uh, the mask with, with, with the valve 
this is uh, because especially for patients, this valve you can only can leak out the virus. So this is not for patient. And also you don't spray some in disinfection uh, from the surface of the mask that they use again. This is not suggested. And also don't suggest you put off the mask and one side on the ear and one side down. And then the, if the mask will be contaminated, the virus is live on the outside, this situation still can uh, affect you or affect others. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Down here. <laughs> yes, yes, not, it's, it's not good, it's not mm. safe. So, you, and then where to use mask? This means the same, don't use mask all the time. Then you take, when you stay your home, your home no confirm, no suspect patient, you don't need. Your family member, you are know who there's history. So no, no doubt. Outdoor, if the outdoor, there's no crowded patient, the crowded population, no need. So uh, for health patient, just in crowded place, I have mentioned your office or shopping mall or restaurant or meeting room or pu public elevator transportation. Uh, if you are a, a, a older patient or you have an underlying condition, you you suggest you are suggested to take a uh, take a, uh, like a, a mask. And now here I uh, divided two class classes. One in low or medium risk area, like in Beijing. Beijing is now a lower risk area. We haven't, until now, we have uh, no new confirmed case about uh, 40 days. So we are now low risk area. Uh, you just uh, uh, prepare mask with you. And uh, when you uh, go to a crowded patient, a crowded, uh, uh, place and maybe you 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 afraid of the infection you can wear a mask just uh, prepare a mask in high risk area uh, uh, if you high risk ask a health patient to help people still suggested wear the medical surgical ma ma mask uh, this is for health of people uh, like you uh, now the uh, Chinese also have high risk. Some uh, several areas is still uh, noted high risk. So when you travel there, you need to know. For those who have symptoms, cough or sneeze, you need to wear a mask to protect others close to, to you. So same for those who live with person who are isolated, or who are just from the hospital. And uh, like you mentioned, some some discharge uh, character is the, just the symptom symptom re re relief. So may, maybe they have a still virus. So this situation, if the family member can uh, use uh, a mask uh, several days, not longer, not longer. So uh, the 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 right uh, the left, I put some risk and in China for a high, low, and uh, uh, media. And yes, this is uh, maybe different country have different, uh, different uh, uh, character, how to name the criteria. This depends on the, how many cases are confirmed in the recent days. Yes, uh, one from beside, a mask is clean your hand. It's, a, it's not uh, very difficult to do. Just use the soap and run water for at least 20 seconds. It's okay. If no water or soap, you can use the uh, sanitizer with the alcohol and the dry, it can uh, free dry. It's okay. So actually, it's don't use uh, expensive or something to, to, to clean your hand. Just the soap and the water is enough. 
So then this is the child um, person how to clean your hand. It's um, and I think from this uh, uh, pandemic we can take some lesson and that our people to have the health habit habit. So uh, maybe you you this is a totally clean your hand, not just uh, 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 briefly. So uh, wet your hands with clean running water and uh, turn off the tap and apply the soap and then leather your hands by running that to together with the soap from the hands, between the finger, between the fingers, hands, and all, including your nails. So it's uh, more, yes, it's more totally clean. So uh, 20 seconds uh, you need, uh, so I, I, I know around the world people saying the happy birthday. This is very popular around the world. You can uh, sing two, two, tw twice. It's okay. It's just uh, fine. And then rise your hand well under clean running water and uh, dry your hand with uses a clean towel or, or free, free, for the free, fine, free, dry. And then and how to kill the virus. This uh, I want to say how to clean your surface. This uh, uh, disinfection and uh, 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 different in disinfection type, you know, kind, different in use situation. Like the, uh, the, if the, how uh, it has uh, uh, chloride or chloroform or hydro, hydrogen peroxide, I mean, per peroxide, this item just for clean the surface of the object, not for your body. Alcohol, I have said, is for our hands. And for the heat, ultraviolet lab, it's just for lab, not for our uh, person to use it. Because some person asked me uh, if, whether I um, buy a violet lab the room to kill the virus. I, I don't. I tell, the, tell them no. It's just for lab. Yes, violet can kill a lot of virus, a lot of virus, but it also kill our body skin. So it's just for lab. Hate also just for lab because hate to maybe cause the potential and danger. And this picture shows how to clean the surface. I don't talk more, same, like use the infection to clean. And the diagon a little diagnose. Uh, this is, a, uh, yes, uh, it's the, depend on the confirmed case. Now the golden confirmed method is a PCR lab. We, if we found the, P, the viral RNA is positive, it's a confirmed case. And because it's the virus stay in the uh, sauce throat, so we can use the uh, pharyngeal smooth slab. Also, we can use another slab from the nose. Uh, the, the total method, uh, we take the slab and send the PCR. And then another we need to do is CT scan. For mild uh, patient, we don't need uh, CT scan. But for the severe case, if the patient have the a strong cough, the persistent fever, and the short of breath, yeah, they remind the doctor maybe the patient have had pneumonia, not just the upper respiratory tract infection. The virus go down the lung, have a pneumonia. So uh, the CT scan can find the pneumonia. So this is the two uh, main main tools to diagnose the uh, the viral and how to evaluate the the condition. So in China, you all prefer to use the oropharyngeal swab. That means through the mouth, is it? <laughs> Actually, it's not my country. Uh, prefer this is my hospital doctor use it cdc okay. 
CDC prefer from the snow, from the yes. snow. But my hospital, uh, not the uh, very strict requirement. You must need that. Uh, that the swab method. Some doctor they they feel not patient not discomfort because from the nose is the the patient. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but the throat is a little discomfort. So, um, actually, uh, from nose is more effective to get the RNA, get the RNA virus. This is I, the pic, I, the picture show is from the throat. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. In, uh, in Malaysia, yeah. we use the nasopharyngeal uh, swab. Yes, control. yes, so, yes. Mm -hmm. A little treatment until now there is there are no effective antiviral drugs, especially uh, presently approved around the world to prevent and treat COVID-19. In China, in mild illness, traditional child medicine is used very common in China. Um, other other treatment is uh, severe is. Uh, uh, support, life supportive methods uh, include uh, oxygen supply um, and the ventilator support as to 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 save save patients. So just uh, for no antiviral drugs, there's still no no approved. There are a lot of uh, drugs uh, mentioned or have. Uh, a clinical trial. Some clinical trial is over, and uh, not uh, not successful, not effective. And some maybe going on have no um, evidence, have no end. So maybe later on, some trial uh, trial is end have give us a su surprised. <laughs> results and then patient people maybe don't have more answers. So that's all my today lecture. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. So um, you mentioned about uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Can we rely only on PCM as a treatment method? Uh, in my opinion, uh, traditional. Uh, Chinese medicine can uh, relieve or reduce some symptoms like your fever, your cough, your sore throat. You take them and can reduce uh, reduce these uh, symptoms. But for the virus, you want to the um, traditional medical uh, medical uh, traditional China Chinese medicine to. There's no in uh, the traditional China medicine have no, there is no enough evidence to directly kill the virus, you know, but they can reduce the symptoms caused by the virus because the a lot of uh, mild illness, mild illness, they can self limited, self limited. So, but you don't feel comfort. You take this medicine. You feel com comfort, and uh, and you 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 maybe the duration of the disease is shorter, but for severe case, this is not uh, okay. You need uh, more su support care, and this is my opinion. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we one of the treatment uh, would probably be vaccine, right? Uh, so there's potential for future mutations. Will uh, yeah. still... Yes, actually, um, coronavirus is RNA virus, like flu. Influenza is also RNA virus. RNA um, HIV virus is also RNA virus. RNA virus character is mute, mute mutation is is open. So this is, uh, I think it's, uh, this could be 
a mutation uh, future. Um, so this is a very difficult to vaccine, make vaccine. Uh, until now, um, several countries uh, is a uh, uh, lot of work to 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 start a vaccine to prevent and control the uh, the pandemic. And, and some scientists uh, predict this uh, new virus can maybe longer. So maybe longer and uh, live like the common cold virus. It can be live. It live with human beings, so it depend on the, uh, the vaccine. Maybe totally uh, help the uh, vulnerable vulnerable person. So uh, I'm not very very uh, optimist. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> I don't think vaccine is okay. <laughs> I mean. Uh, Maybe it, yes, we hope vaccines work, but uh, in my opinion, not very. Uh, <laughs> sorry, is your department working on the vaccine or any research related to COVID nineteen? Uh, my work. Yeah, is your department uh, working oh. on vaccine? Oh. No, vaccine usually. Uh, is uh, CDC, CDC, they are, have a lot of group to research. Um, in hospital, we just uh, uh, provide, offer the person, patient care, just the patient care. If the if the vaccine is ready, we can use it in clinical practice. But not, um, um, um yes we we can look forward <laughs> look forward <laughs> sorry okay all right uh, looks like we have to wrap things up we have already passed the one hour uh thank you so much dr gu for spending your time with us uh thank you for your sharing and hope you stay safe and healthy always yes it's my great pleasure to share with everyone share some a little my hospital experience in my clinical practice. Thank you, Eric. Good night. So that's all we have for tonight. Sorry that it dragged a bit longer than we expected. Thank you for being with us since 8 p.m. Do join us again next Friday on Science Stream, same time, same place. Good night and stay safe.